U.S. prosecutors have recommended that the Department of Justice, DOJ, brings criminal charges against Boeing. It follows a claim by the DOJ that the plane maker had violated a settlement related to two fatal crashes involving its 737 MAX aircraft, which killed 346 people. Boeing declined to comment when contacted by the BBC, but previously, it has denied violating the deferred prosecution agreement. The DOJ has until 7th of July to make a final decision on whether to prosecute the company. The DOJ has been contacted for comment. The recommendation is not a final decision and the details of any potential criminal action are not known. The plane crashes, both involving Boeing 737 MAX aircraft, occurred within six months of each other. The crash involving Indonesia's Lion Air occurred in October 2018, followed by an Ethiopian Airlines flight in March 2019. Last week, relatives of the victims urged prosecutors to seek a fine against Boeing of $25 billion and to pursue a criminal prosecution. Under a deal reached in 2021, Boeing said it would pay a $2.5 billion settlement and prosecutors agreed to ask the court to drop a criminal charge after three years if the company abided by certain stipulations set out in the deferred prosecution agreement. Last week, Boeing's outgoing chief executive Dave Calhoun faced a grilling from U.S. Senators. Calhoun testified that the company had learned from past mistakes and that the process for employee whistleblowers works, but lawmakers still accused him of not doing enough to rectify a culture of retaliation. As part of an ongoing investigation, Boeing whistleblowers told the Senate in April that the 737 MAX, the 787 Dreamliner and the 777 models had serious production issues. The company was most recently put in the spotlight when a door panel fell off a new 737 MAX plane during an Alaska Airlines flight in January, leaving a gaping hole.